Okay, so Miss Sandra Howard Carey is almost on live. So please give us a few minutes till she enters. If you guys hear noise, I'm sorry, that's my mom walking. I'm so sorry. Hello, Miss Sandra. Can you hear me? Okay. Hi, Delaney. Hello, Miss Sandra. Here I go. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Can you? I can't see you. Oh, you can't see me? No, no ma'am. Hold on. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Oops, there I was, there I went. There we go. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. So here Good. I go. Good afternoon, people. 
Here we have is the phenomenal Sandra Carey Howard. And for today's topic, we're gonna to be discussing about vegan. But first, I would like to talk about an athlete who's a vegan, Miss Dotsie. She is a pro cyclist. She used to be part of Game Changers and she became vegan in 2009. So wow. here we go. Let's talk about vegan. So my first question is, when have you always been a vegan? I have not. Um, 2019, uh, my birthday of 2019, I decided to try to change my eating habits. And I, my husband was already a vegan. And so I jumped on the bandwagon. Oh, and ever since then, I've been uh, enjoying the lifestyle. Mm, so it's been a year since you've been a vegan. It's been over a year. Yes, over a year. Um, about a year and a half. Did wow. I think I would make it that long? No, because, you know, when we have gatherings and we have family barbecues and we have hot dogs and hamburgers and whoo, steak, and it was hard to think about giving up those things. I feel you. I love me some meat too, girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I cannot help it too. But great job of going over a year being a vegan. I know that sounds Thank really you. hard. So what adjustments did you have to make in order to switch from eating a lot of meat to being a vegan? Well, I'm going to say it really wasn't that hard because I didn't eat, when, in retrospect, I didn't eat a lot of meat uh, anyway. Uh, mostly chicken and seafood. Occasionally, I would eat ribs. Occasionally, I would eat steak, beef. So um, it wasn't that hard to give it up uh, in the beginning, except for when uh, we were out. Of course, people who are not vegans have wonderful spreads of meats and side items, and you want to grab because it's easy. It's a little bit, it was a little bit harder initially to start being a vegan, to train yourself to not just, you're hungry, so you get a hamburger out of the freezer, you make a patty, you throw it on the grill, and you cook it and you eat. So at first, being a vegan required some more preparation. Mm, I feel you. Being a vegan does sound hard. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, yeah it, it did at first until you find that there are a lot of vegan foods now that are available because more and more people are becoming vegan. There are more and more restaurants to serve vegan options. So it's it's gotten a lot easier for me. Temptation is still there. Sometimes okay. I want to sit down with my sisters and eat some crabs. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. <laughs> crabs are delicious. But, right delicious some crabs and some conversation but it's all good sometime i thought about maybe just becoming a pescatarian and still eliminating meat but just maybe incorporating fish and seafood well, my dad's a pescatarian oh he is i have to talk to him sometime about that your dad is very healthy yep he's always okay. been very 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 athletic build, very healthy looking, very fit, very <laughs> conscious of what he eats. Okay, I'll make sure I'll tell him that. Please. Okay, next question is, give me your definition of vegan. A vegan is a person who eats, for me, everything that is plant-based. Nothing that has a mommy or daddy. No, no uh, chicken. No beef from the cow, mommy, daddy. No bacon from the pig, mommy, daddy. Mm. Just everything that is grown of the earth. Ah, so all herbivores. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next question is, what is your favorite vegan meal? Who? That's tough. Well, I really like it's um, it's spicy, fried, battered cauliflower. Mm, that sounds delicious. I gotta try it's, that. It's I could eat a whole head of cauliflower if it's cooked like that. 
really, really delicious. And it's not all that bad. At first I thought, boy, I'm just going to be eating vegetables all the time. And that's fine because I like vegetables, but mm. then there's a lot of protein options and meat now. There's a lot of beyond beef, impossible beef, burgers and sausage that you can get, which feels just like eating regular livestock meat. Mm, I feel you. Well, since you love vegetables, what is your favorite vegetable? Um, I like, I like broccoli. Broccoli is mm -hmm. probably my favorite. I like steamed broccoli. I like raw broccoli. I like broccoli sauteed with garlic. I love, uh, love, love. Broccoli is my favorite. I love broccoli too. I just don't like cheese over it. Oh, like yeah. I, I used to eat cheese over it. Uh, sometimes that's how I used to get my son to eat it, but spread some cheese over because he loves cheese. But now I can even have it with cheese sometimes now if I like because they make a vegan cheese. There's a lot of vegan, there's vegan mayonnaise, there's vegan salad dressing, there's vegan cheese. There are lots and lots of vegan options on the shelves in the grocery store, especially if you go to a health food store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like on the cooking channel, they show different types of vegan meals. Yes, yes. Very, uh, you don't miss it. Once you start doing it and you've, you don't, you don't miss what you used to have. And in the long run, it's, it's, it's good. It's good for you. If some people do it sometimes just to do a cleanse of their body, just vegan for a short period of time. You know. Okay. So if, if you could create a vegan recipe, what would you put in it and what would you call it? Oh my. Let me see. If I could create a vegan recipe, I would put um some beans in it, maybe some black beans with some type of um um with corn and make it kind of like a bowl, a vegan bowl with um, beans and corn and brown rice and, you know, lettuce, tomato, onions, and mm. just call it the, um, the my go-to vegan dish. Mm, I got to try that. Yeah, it's try. good. Because I make it sometimes... Uh, Noun and just whatever I want to throw in there, I just throw it in there. Okay. Well, you mentioned you've been to some vegan restaurants. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite vegan restaurant? Um, TGI Fridays. Mm. They have a vegan burger on the menu. Delicious. You can still get the lettuce, tomato, like I said, the vegan cheese, the red onions, the barbecue, vegan barbecue sauce. You can, it's, yeah, I could eat one every day. Mm, I bet, I bet. I would love to yeah. try it. You should try it sometimes. You would not even know it's a, not, you would not even know it's not a regular beef patty. Mm, oh, okay. Yeah. Also, have you ever tried any vegan dessert? I have tried some vegan cookies. Mm -hmm. Can't really tell the difference. You know, I guess you, 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 you taste, you train your taste differently. So you don't, you don't miss all the ingredients. Like Uncle Terry is a bigger vegan than I am because he, everything he eats pretty much is vegan. Sometimes I, I'll, I'll cheat. And I'll have regular salad dressing instead of vegan salad dressing. But he is strictly, he's always finding vegan options in the store. Desserts, you know, just the whole nine. You can eat a lot of legumes and nuts if, if you're vegan. And you can incorporate, you can mash nuts up and make some really good things to go in vegan recipes with, especially if you like cookies. Mm. I didn't know there's like vegan dressings. Yeah, 
Yep, salad dressings. Yep, we go to like Trader Joe's or um, Harris Teeter. They got lots. They have vegan ice cream. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, surprisingly, it's good. What's your favorite vegan ice cream flavor? Um, they actually have um, it's um, chocolate chip cookie. It's like a chocolate chip cookie dough almost. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Yeah, they have a peanut butter one, which is also good. Um, there's only like four or five different ones that I have seen. Depends on which store you go to. Wow. I bet those vegans would be really expensive. It is more expensive to be a vegan. And it should be uh -huh. less expensive because they're natural things, plants of the earth. So why would they cost more? Like if we go to um, Tropical Smoothie and they'll have a vegan substitute meat and they charge you more for it. Ah, oh my. Why? I mean, it's not, exactly. it should be less because it's just the plant as opposed to coming from a cow or a pig or a lamb. Or sheep. So, yeah, they should not make that expensive. Right. Yeah. A couple places we go to, they charge more. But, you know, you can eat a lot of grains and a lot of beans, a lot of legumes, nuts, seeds. Tofu is a really good substitute too for meat, which I've come to really like a lot because you can do a lot with tofu. I used to always think tofu, I'm not going to eat that. But yeah, they have like teriyaki tofu, um, habanero seasoning tofu, and it's, it's really good. Cold mm -hmm. or you can heat it up and eat it. Mm, I got to try that. I got to get my mom to try that also as well. Yeah, I can see your mother going for that because she's always been a very healthy eater and take care of her temple too. So she probably, she probably would love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that question for you too. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite vegan breakfast? The usual, you know, you can get vegan sausage. So I'll eat a vegan sausage, put it in with some oatmeal on the side. So, you know, they make vegan butter. So I can put the vegan, and they, we buy um, turbinado sugar, which is like half the sugar of regular sugar. So we put that in with the oatmeal and the sausage. They also make vegan bacon. Mm. So just the same regular breakfast, fried potatoes on the side, you know. Okay. Breakfast right hasn't changed much for options, but dinner uh, has changed um, more. Ah, I feel you. Yeah, dinner can be really hard. Yeah, yeah. I always eat breakfast, you know, but it's it's because it's it's still easy. But eating lunch and dinner options is a little more hard. They even make like cauliflower based pizza, so you can mm -hmm. still have pizza. I love vegan pizza. Yeah, there you go. Vegan okay. pizza. You right. could be a vegan, Delaney. Yep, I sure yeah. can. Good for your I overall health. Pizza. Yeah. If I could just incorporate some good exercise regimen and vegan, I might live to be 100 years old. Oh, wow. That's the <laughs> blood. Right. Here's a hard question. What is the difference between vegan and vegetarian? Well, I believe, uh, I don't even know if vegetarian vegetarians are just strict vegetables. I don't know if they eat any uh, plant-based meats. They may just do all veggies. I'm, I'm not sure. That's a good question, Delaney. Do you know what the difference is? Well, to me, I think vegetarians... They eat mostly vegetables. They hardly eat meat. The only type of meat they eat is just fish. You know, that, that sounds like a pescetarian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. They can't eat no hot dogs, no hamburgers, none of that. No. And vegan is just strictly no meat, strictly plants. 
Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the difference. Yeah. I think that's about the difference because for a long time, people were saying they were vegetarians and they're like, what is a vegetarian? What's the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan? Okay. I feel you. Next question is, which vegan you look up to? Uh, well, I don't know a whole lot of vegans. I know um, I look at a lot of things that come on TV on the cooking channel. There are some people on there that are vegans and stuff. When we first started, decided to become a vegan, there was a book called, um, it was a video called uh, Forks Over Knives or Spoons Over something like that. Um, so, but, you know, I, I probably look up a lot because Uncle Terry's the only other vegan that I know personally. And okay. he, he really spends a lot of time looking up food options and in the store looking for vegan option things to buy and looking up vegan recipes. To, he probably has become more of a cook since he's become vegan than before. <laughs> yeah, so that worked out too. Yeah. So he's always trying new recipes uh, that he looks up on there. So. Oh, okay. N yeah. Next, last question. What advice you would give to those people who thought about becoming a vegan? Do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Do it. Try it. Try it. You might like it. And if nothing else, maybe you can just tweak your diet a little bit and incorporate some more vegan options in as opposed to um, all the bacon and sausage and ham and, you know, chicken and beef and stuff that comes from the livestock you can just maybe try doing some of the plant-based options and see if it makes you feel better because that's a big part of it too. Not only are you just eating better, but you're, you're feeling better. I know a lot of people, it could change whether you have, um, hypertension, it could change your cholesterol, it could put you on a better track to have to not have any heart disease. So I would say try it. Okay. That's great advice. I love that. Yes. Okay. Well thank you. Uh, thank you, Miss Sandra, for stopping by. Absolutely, Delaney. My and good pleasure. Luck on, and good luck on your vegan life and keep it up. You're gonna do great. Thank you for the words of encouragement. I really appreciate it. No problem. Have a great day. Thank you.